Hello, hello, and welcome to Wealth Building Mini Class. I'm Milan Lewis, your financial empowerment mentor and the wealth architect. I help women to create the life and abundance and uh, financial independence they only dreamed about. And uh, I teach them how to make their money work for them. So uh, as you may know, in the last mini class, I talked about the importance of completing your past, completing all the uh, what I call unfinished business, the stuck energy that you may still carry in your body uh, from those experiences. It could be a loss of um, money due to um, bad investment, or it could be um, just bad, uh, bad uh, decision, you know, maybe partnering with your own uh, business partner who uh, bankrupt you, or maybe uh, delegating all of your money to someone else who uh, promises you that, you know, they will take care of your money better than you do and uh, losing this money. So, and not only uh, money matters, but life in general, if you don't com complete your past, you're doomed to repeat it. So last time I shared with you my personal experience, uh, specifically how uh, I had uh, some challenging relationship with my father and I didn't address this while he was still alive and how I took time, uh, one year of my life, and I was working on uh, the energy that I stored in my body that had to be released in order for me to move forward. And uh, because, uh, you know, within the context of this mini classes, I cannot, uh, I, I didn't have time to uh, share with you everything. So today we're going to talk, I will share with you, uh, and we're going to cover four steps that you can take to empower yourself after devastating um, financial experiences. Um, and by the way, these steps could also be very pertinent to um, any kind of frustrating um upsetting painful experiences from your past so that's what we're going to cover today and uh, i invite you to maybe take notes because this is something that i didn't learn from books this is something that i really lived through and uh, as i will go through the steps i will share with you some of my experience or other people experiences that um, confirm how important each of these steps uh, is so let's start with step number one. Step number one, you've got to accept and acknowledge that it's over. Whatever happened in your life, uh, whatever money you lost, um, it's over. This money are not coming back. But new money may come back. New opportunities may come back new doors may open and frankly you can say the same about relationships new relationships will come into your life but it's important to acknowledge that whatever happened in the past it's over is done and you don't need to uh, run this story again and again in your head okay you uh, you really should find a way to uh, convince yourself that it's counterproductive for you to go back and relieve and relieve and relieve the life that um, you uh, or the experience that you had before. So hi, Nakisha. Thank you for being here. So, so step number one, make sure that you acknowledge. I told you I will share with you experiences from my life. Um, when uh, I invested all my retirement plan in the stock of the company that I used to work for Morgan Stanley and during the market crash, I lost it. I was so attached to this experience. I was like, how could I do that? How could it happen to me? Why, why did it happen? I could not acknowledge that it was over. It was over. The money was gone and I could not change in, in, in this physical life, I could not change it, okay? So that was not a healthy uh, way of handling the experience. 
So, and, you know, I will tell you how to, uh, how I finally uh, changed that. So that's step number one. Again, accept and acknowledge that it's over, whatever happened. Step number two, reframe what happened. Change the story that you're telling yourself. Change it into the story that will be more inspiring and more, more uh, supportive for whatever you want to achieve in your life. Because everything is uh, perception. You absolutely have a choice how to perceive the experience that you had in the past in a different light. And to help you with this, uh, I want to suggest um, you to contemplate on the following questions. Question number one, why this experience this experience, this this loss, this this frustration, this pain, um, you know, this loss of my investments, this loss of my job, this maybe loss of my business. Why this experience? Why what happened? Why the fact that I didn't get it, that I I lost it, that I um, didn't succeed? Why it's a positive? Um, experience in my life in what way this this experience of not getting something losing something not succeeding at something why this was a important um, experience in your life so you could become even more um, aware of who you are and what you need to do in order to succeed okay so, um, so why is it perfect? Another way to, uh, to, to state this, why is it perfect for my growth? Why is it perfect for my growth? And the second question is, what did I, what did, what did I learn about myself? What did I learn about myself in terms of patterns being revealed Patterns of thinking, patterns of uh, doing things, pattern of, patterns of acting. So what patterns uh, were relieved by the means of this challenging experience? These two questions will help you to really reframe your story about what happened. And let me tell you, uh, I, I told you that I will share with you some of my uh, personal experiences uh, to um, explain to you every point, every step. So when I lost uh, my, my pension funds uh, on the stock market because I did not diversify my investments because I invested everything in the stock of one company because I believed in this company and I thought it would be okay. So it was devastating. And like I told you before, I was... Uh, going over and over what happened, why it happened, etc. And uh, then I said, you know what? I want to find a way to learn how to do a better job next time. I want to become a good uh, strategic investor. I want to learn how other people do that. I want to learn that. I want to become informed uh, investor. And uh, th that was the time when I uh, started considering uh, investing not only in the stock market, but also in real estate, because I noticed that a lot of successful, wealthy investors have real estate portfolio. So at this time, I had no idea how to invest in real estate. And as a matter of fact, I made a lot of mistakes before I actually convinced myself that, you know, I, I really need to learn what I'm doing. So... I reframed this story. I made, I used this loss to empower myself to become more informed about the options that are available and how can I explore different investment opportunities in a way that would be strategic to uh, achieve my ultimate goal, which was financial independence. Okay, so we're talking about step two how to reframe your story about what happened. Uh, in in the past um, and how to empower yourself using this lesson because the, as you know there are no failures 
if you learn the lessons from your experiences. Okay, step number three. Step number three is about forgiveness. You've got to forgive yourself and others in order to move forward. Because when you carry resentment, whether it's uh, about uh, a person or about, uh, you know, maybe maybe you feel uh, guilty or ashamed for what for the mistakes that you've you've made and for all the money that you lost for your uh, trust in nature when you outsourced all your money to uh, some financial investment firm and they lost money, whatever happened in the past, it's essential that you forgive yourself and others. Uh, there is this Buddhist uh, saying that um, I don't remember exactly, but I'm paraphrasing that carrying the resentment and anger uh, against someone, it's like uh, carrying the uh, uh, bulk of uh, hot coal. So you get burned yourself. So that's very important. And uh, there are different techniques within the context of this mini class. Obviously, I'm not going to cover this, but there are different techniques how to uh, achieve this uh, forgiveness toward yourself, toward other people who maybe uh, disrespected you or uh, lied to you or uh, did something that um, devastated your financial uh, standing. Uh, you need to find a way to forgive. So that was step number three. And uh, step number four, step number four, I talk about this again and again. You have the power. You have it inside you. You can become more informed. You can become more educated about the choices. You know, if we talk about uh, uh, financial success, I would say become uh, an informed uh, strategic investor. Learn your options. Learn what, what uh, is available there, what is appropriate for you, for your circumstances. And even if you choose to work with a financial advisor or financial planner, which for many people it's a good idea, even if you work with uh, other people, you need to know what they're going to do for you. You need to know, so it would be something that they will do for you, not to you. But you need to, you need to know your options. You need to know what uh, is appropriate for, for you, what is a good idea for you. Like if we talk about retirement, you need to know uh, how many years or retirement or becoming financially independent, how many year, within how many years you want to retire or become financially independent. What would be your lifestyle? Uh, what kind of uh, investment preferences you, uh, you, you, you have? You know, maybe you don't want to invest in real estate. Maybe you don't like stock market. Maybe you want to build your business. Maybe you want to buy a business. So again, I always, always remind um, people that it's very important to educate yourself first before you outsource all your money to someone else to manage to manage it okay so that was the first the the step number four become an educated uh informed uh, money manager savvy money manager and that's pretty much what i wanted to share today in this uh in this mini class so now you know the four steps that you can take to empower yourself after potentially very frustrating or even devastating uh, losses that you incur, whether it's financial losses or even personal losses. All right. So uh, thank you very much for your time. I, again, if you're not a member of my um, uh, Facebook group, Wealth Building for Powerful Women, I invite you to join us. Again, Wealth Building for Powerful Women. Join my group, and we uh, we have very interesting conversations there, and sharing, and you can ask questions any day. And uh, we have a amazingly brilliant community of very very talented and uh, loving people, loving women in this group. 
Thank you very much for your time. Enjoy your day, enjoy your week, and I will see you again next week on Tuesday at 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Be well. Sending you blessings.